What's up everyone, this is Volgris here, and today I'm going to show you how you can pan sound in Sony Vegas. And what this means is you can play it in your left ear, your right ear, and you could even center it, which means you're playing it in both ears equally. And for this tutorial to work correctly, you're going to want to wear stereo headphones or a headset, uh, or speakers for that matter. So um, what you want to do is you want to uh, import your sound into Sony Vegas, and I'm just going to lower it, that way you guys don't hear it really loud. And this is a little bit different in Sony Vegas 9 and Sony Vegas 10. I have Sony Vegas 10 on my laptop, but right now I'm using Sony Vegas 9. Uh, if you're using Sony Vegas 10, you should see a little button right here that says Pan. If you just double-click that, a little bar should pop up, and uh, that's really all you have to do. But in Sony Vegas 9, what you want to do is you want to right-click anywhere on this box right here, and you want to click uh, Insert slash Remove Envelope, and you want to do Pan. Or you can do Shift and P. So Shift P will just allow you to bring up this little line right here. And basically, this line right here is centered. Um, I believe, like, this this top portion right here is at the left ear. This is the right ear. So, uh, right here, it's centered. And if you want to just play it, you'll notice it's centered. And you notice that both ears, there's equal volume in it. Now, say you want to fade it slightly towards the left ear or the right ear. Uh, there's many ways you can do this, but I find the simplest way is to pan it, like I'm about to show you. So basically what you can do is you can just double click the point where you are right now, and that's going to create a point. And uh, you want to then double click a point a little later on, and then you can drag this down. And as you see, this is going to actually fade it between ears, so I'm just going to drag it right here. And as you see right there, uh, as I'm dragging it, it says 65% right, and uh, you're going to notice a pretty big difference when you play it. So if you're wearing stereo uh, headphones or stereo speakers, you're going to notice that the sound is going to slowly veer towards the right. And uh, you can also right-click this and change the fade points, I believe. I guess you can't. Hold on. I don't know why you can't. Usually it allows you to... Yeah, slow fade is going to allow you... It's, it's going to make it fade slower. And then if you do fast fade, it's going to do the exact opposite. It's going to go down like that. Um, linear fade is going to be a straight line. Um, and then all these other ones. Pretty much... You're not really going to notice it that much for this. Just like some simple music, but... When we start getting into like bigger projects, there's going to be a huge difference between which one of these fades you use. And uh, the more you edit with this, the more you're going to actually notice the difference. So for now, I'm just going to do, uh, I'll do slow fade. Uh, same thing with the right side. You can just, I mean, same thing with the left side, excuse me. You can just drag this up and it'll play in the left ear as opposed to the right ear. I'm actually going to cut this song a little shorter so we center it and then we just drag this like this I want to cut it until it gets a little faster and louder for that matter so let me just play it as you see both ears and uh, now I'm gonna switch between the different ears I'm gonna switch between left and right ear faster that way you guys can get a you know a better idea of what it sounds like so create a point create another point drag this up create a point here drag this down create a point here and drag this up and uh, change this fade type to be a fast fade. Uh, create a point here and create a point here. And now I'm just going to play it and you guys can listen to it and see how it sounds. Alright, so I don't know about you, but I think this sounds pretty cool and definitely for your montages. I've actually done this with gunshots and it sounds really cool in your finished product. I hope you guys can learn from this. It's a really nice effect. And there you go. That's how you can pan sound in Sony Vegas. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and there will be a lot more tutorials coming up, uh, some featuring my graphics pack, and um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. All right, thanks, guys.